I'm at this place right now because I wanted to demonstrate because I bought my MacBook here, so I wanted to demonstrate how to, to um, hook up a MacBook to a smart board. So yeah, um, this, this is really late at night at this school right now, and they're about to switch to have a newer kind of smart board, which is by a brand named Epson, which my school already has, because this is just a random school, you know, and I found this smart board right there. So yeah, that I'm going to protect to set, hook it up to the projector. So now it's on. Okay, don't worry about this. Your smart board is not broken. This is just that it's not connected. Or, or your Mac is not broken. This is just that it's not connected to the Mac. So yeah, I'm screen recording my smart board. Now, that's, it's not mine that I got screen recording on here. And it's not even my smart board. But my school, the, not my school again. But this school let me use it. So yeah, I might, yeah, I'll show you how to. Your screen should change to this in a minute when, when the screen mirroring plug is, um, is taken out because we're going to have to plug that into the MacBook. So now you have this Mac and yeah, I have this random name on it. So we're going to settings now to set up. And the reason why I'm not update, yeah, I have to upgrade to the newest Mac OS. That's what's in the app store. But yeah, so here, here's the smart board, and I'm going to have to connect it now. Now, this is not my smart board. Yeah, this is my smart board. The screen should turn blue, and yeah, your MacBook doesn't look like this, but it will. Your MacBook screen should turn red. And then you will see this pop up. The, the screen will change, and then the wallpaper will also. Yeah. So yeah, this is a tutorial about the, yeah, so this is, I accidentally put the split screen tutorial because, yeah, that black thing on the left and right means split screen, and that's split screen too, so yeah. And yeah, so I'll be right back to how to unplug it and unhook it up. This should come up, you're going to have to calibrate, this should come up on the MacBook too, you're going to have to calibrate the smart board. So all you're going to have to do is follow this little dot, and it says press center target until it turns green. And you cannot, even though the MacBook is unplugged from the smart board, it still shows this on the MacBook, and it's reflecting on the smart board. Your Mac still looks like this, but it's about to change. Your Mac is back to looking like this again, so bye. Hope you enjoyed.